There was so much history made during UConn's 63-53 win over Notre Dame in last night's NCAA Final. It's tough to figure out where to start, but 10 seems like a pretty fitting number. 10, the number of rings, one for every finger, for head coach Gino Oriema, who now sits at the top of the NCAA Championships list with legendary UCLA men's coach John Wooden. Oriema has led his team to the national championship game 10 times and has yet to be beaten in the final game. Moving on to number nine, this was the ninth year in a row. The Huskies were slotted as a one seed in the NCAA tournament, which brings us to number eight. The Huskies have reached the final four for eight straight years and have been successful in most of those trips. We'll get to that in a second. But first, it's number seven. UConn's on a 30-game winning streak for an amazing seventh time in school history. UConn's 46-game winning streak was snapped at Stanford back in November, but the Huskies haven't lost since. They'll ride a 35-game winning streak into the 2015-2016 season. And now number six, UConn wouldn't be here without a talented cast of players. In fact, according to ESPN.com, the Huskies have signed the nation's top recruit in six of the last 10 seasons. Number five, UConn has won five of the last seven national championships. And number four goes out to the seniors for four straight years, Kalina Mosqueda-Lewis and Kia Stokes have made Final Four appearances. Mosqueda Lewis became the NCAA all-time three-point leader in her career at UConn. Stokes will also be remembered as one of the greatest defensive players for the Huskies. Moving on to number three, you can't forget Brianna Stewart. She said she wants to win four straight, but to do that, she had to win the third in Tampa. She earned most outstanding player of the Final Four honors for the third time, making her the first woman ever to achieve that. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was the only men's player to do it when he played for Wooden at UCLA. Number two, Stewart again for the second straight season, she was named the AP Player of the Year. It was also the second straight year UConn took down former conference rival Notre Dame in the national championship final. The Huskies will also only lose two seniors, so things are looking good for the Huskies as they seek number 11. And last but certainly not least, the Huskies finished the season number one in the nation and will likely start off their 2015 campaign at the top as well. Congratulations again to Gino Oriema, his coaching staff, and the rest of the Yukon Huskies who continue to achieve the unimaginable and write history. That's a wrap here at the American for Basketball season. Thanks for hanging out with us. It was another great year and it will be back before we know it. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.